You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of OnlyFans. Changes in the air. YouTube has a new CEO. Former CEO Susan Wojcicki has been replaced by Neil Mohan. I believe that's how you pronounce their names. And uh, there's, a, there's a mixed reaction from the YouTube community. Some people are happy. Some people have have not really loved the way YouTube has been moving in the last few years and they kind of felt that it was Susan's fault that things weren't going as smoothly as they should have been going. And now we have our new CEO and um, some people are hopeful that things will get better, things that need to be addressed will improve. Others are afraid that things might just get worse and I just don't know what's gonna happen. What I do know is that YouTube has been changing the last few months. It is clear that the platform wants to move away from being what it always has been, a source of all kinds of videos and movies and amateur shows that we've all come here to watch, vlogs and deep dives. And YouTube wants to push more of the shorts content. In other words, YouTube also wants to be TikTok. We've seen this happening over at Instagram and now it's moved over onto YouTube. And for a lot of us, we really don't know what this means for our channels, for our content. I know for one that when I joined this platform, I wanted to connect with my audience. I wanted to share my experiences. I wanted to do deep dives. I've been through the evolution of my channel. I've been wanting to experiment with different formats, but I've always leaned towards the longer form, deep dive explanation videos. And I really felt that that was the nice little niche where I was going to find my home. But now that YouTube is moving in this different direction, I, I don't know how that's going to affect my channel. It is very clear that YouTube has decided to go in this direction because I have been adding more shorts to my rotation and those videos are getting the bulk of the views from my channel. And uh, so it's clear that YouTube is pushing them, the algorithm is pushing the shorts into the view of other people more than it is doing for my regular 10 minute to 40 minute videos. So why is everybody trying to be TikTok? Well, it makes sense. TikTok is that girl. She is the hottest thing on the internet. She's the fastest growing app. More people are getting their information in tiny bites. And what YouTube is saying is, what Instagram has said, what I believe, I haven't been on, on Facebook in a really long time, so I don't know what they're saying over there, but it seems like all the platforms are saying, hey, if this is what the public wants, let's give them what they want. The issue with that is, I think it's happening the other way around. Because this is all that people are being fed, the public is becoming more and more accustomed to getting these small bite videos. I have a TikTok account and I, I post there on a fairly regular basis. But my brain is not just interested in watching short form videos. Yeah, as a matter of fact, because Instagram nowadays is mostly reels, which is the video short form instead of just photos, I find myself when I'm scrolling Instagram, seeing a lot of the videos. But when I go on YouTube, I want to see deep dives. I want to hear lectures. I want to see vlogs. I want to watch interviews. This is the content that brings me to YouTube. That's what makes YouTube unique and separate from Instagram. I would go to Instagram because I wanted to see photos. I want to keep up with what celebrities are doing. And when I was on Facebook, I wanted to see what my friends and family were doing. And so gone are the days when a person could kind of tailor pick what kind of content they want to receive, how they want to consume this content, because everybody's trying to copy the latest trend. And my fear is the day will come when all the other platforms are going to go into short form videos, not because that's what the public wants, but because that's 
all the public has access to, so the public will have no choice but to consume that kind of content. And it's not fair. It, it feels as if the platforms, instead of giving the people what they want, they are engineering the public into wanting the thing that is going to bring more money to their platforms. And that has been happening from the beginning of social media. And I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think it's a good thing. And so now we have a, a new CEO. Um, he seems to be leaning into this whole thing of shorts. He seems to um, want that because from what I understand, he was part of the team that brought this content into YouTube. And so I think it's only a matter of time until the longer form videos are kind of pushed to the bottom of the barrel. And that makes me sad because I really enjoy watching content that really goes in deep on different topics of interest. Or I just love watching my favorite YouTubers living their lives and vlogging how their days are going. That's, that's really what brought me to YouTube. And I just, it, 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 it makes me sad to see that go away. And now that I am a content creator and I came here to create that content that I love so much, to be forced into doing a different kind of content that I'm not the, the, the biggest fan of, but that I have to adapt to it because I have so many plans for my channel and I want to see it grow. And if the only way I'm going to be able to make it grow is to kind of give in and, and break down and, and do what the overlords want me to do, it makes me very sad. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me very sad. And it's the thing that, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of OnlyFans. Remember when OnlyFans sent out that announcement that they were going to do away with all their adult content and people were going, um, so if you don't give us what we came here for, why are we still here? And they quickly backpedal and decided, okay, okay, we're, we're, we're going to stick to to what you guys want, to what brought you here. I wish we would have a moment like that here at YouTube, that YouTube would realize, you know what? We can't do away with the content that brought our audience in the first place. YouTube has a huge, gigantic audience. And you can't tell me that we're all here to watch TikTok-like content. Because if we want to see TikTok-like content, we would just go to TikTok. And let's not be, let's not be mistaken. Because TikTok pioneered this form of, of, of short content, they're going to be better at this than the newcomers. Now, there is a, there is a way that the newcomers can kind of take over and make it more interesting. The way Instagram stories took over that role from Snapchat and pretty much put them out of business. I mean, they're still in business, but kind of pushed them aside and Instagram became the hot new thing for stories. So I think Instagram, YouTube, all the other sites want to be able to pull that off and be better at TikToking than TikTok. Are they going to manage to do that? I don't know, I don't think so. I, I feel like it's too late. And for me, if YouTube wants to continue having that option of shorts, I think that's good, I think that's wonderful. Um, for people who want to come and consume that type of stuff. But I think that they should not abandon the thing that made them who they are. The thing that made YouTube my preferred way of consuming TV. I mean, YouTube literally replaced television for me. And I would love to see more of that content being honored. So if Mr. Neil, what's his last name? So if Mr. Neil Mohan happens to be watching this video, welcome. I wish you much success, but please don't forget about the little people that made YouTube what YouTube is. Please don't abandon your core audience. The people who are kind of tired of these little videos, the people who don't want our attention span to equal that of a fruit fly. We want to be able to continue to, to enjoy, to be able to sit in one place and watch 
longer form content. We want our brains to be able to concentrate for long periods of time. A lot of us think that that's better for us than the, what is it called? Than the slot machine style consuming of content. We don't want that. We don't want that to be the world we live in anymore. You don't want that for your children. This is going to mess up with people's brains the way gambling messes up with, with people's brains. When people are used to getting that dopamine hit every few seconds without that long burn of enjoyment of watching a long content video that has a, a beginning, it has a, a climax, and, and, and then it has a conclusion. We, that's how life works. And I feel that this social experiment that the, the social media apps have been engaging in has been resulting in engineering a society that is not the best society. It is a society that's filled with people that are riddled with anxiety and depression. And, and, and this is not good. At some point, somebody has to stop and say, yeah, this is how we're making money. But what are we turning this world into? What is this world going to look like five years from now if we keep going in this direction? We will have all the money in the world, but if everybody's depressed and, and, and harming themselves and harming others, what's the point? Who wants to live in a world like that, even if you have all the money in the world? I hope and pray that Mr. Mohan and, and, and the new team that is going to take over can be that voice of reason to say, we can have it all. We can have shorts for those people who come for that content, but let's continue to honor and push and promote the content that made us who we are today. That is my hope, that is my prayer. And I want other YouTubers who agree with me to raise their voices and start this movement of, please don't turn YouTube into TikTok. We have enough TikTok. Please let YouTube stay what it is. Make it better. And listen, this by far, for people who want to do content creation, this is by far the best avenue because YouTube still pays the best out of all the other social media platforms. And those of us who look forward to monetizing our stuff, we would like to be able to stay here and, and make a decent living. But it will only happen if YouTube doesn't, fall into the trap of wanting to be the cool kids because eventually the cool kids are going to have to grow up and you're already a grown-up you're already doing your thing you're already making that money please don't mess it up please i beg you okay rant over thanks for watching this video if you'd like to see more from me uh please subscribe to my channel like this video leave a comment and i will see you in the next one bye